Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to take part in this conference. My name is Yang Renfeng, coming from Sinoc Research Institute Cooperation Limited. My presentation is about difference analysis on steady state and unsteady state relative permeability curves. I will introduce from four aspects. The first, firstly, uh, is about the introduction. As we all know, the relative permeability curve is a strongly sensitive parameter for oil and gas field development, which determines the pre prediction accuracy of development profile. Further, affects cost of drilling and project investment and the final affects final decision. At the present, the relative permeability curve are usually determined by experiments and the most commonly used methods are steady state and unsteady state measurement. But there are different opinions. Some scholars believe that the difference between the two methods is small, but the other, there are some other scholars believe that the results are quite different, especially in some experiments of special reservoir types, for example, tight, tight oil and gas reservoirs, and some special fluid types. Some of the assumptions of the unsteady state method, such as negligible capillary force and viscous fingering, are difficult to achieve. So, whether or not measurements result of such two methods are identical for the same call. And which measurements result is closer to the active underground condition. So in this paper, further study on core selection of different, different least load ledges comprising of experimental conditions, analysis of experimental process and comprising of experiment result was talked about. So the next part is about the relative permeability measurements. To ensure relative permeability values obtained by steady state and unsteady state measurements to be comparable, the same core, the same fluid, and the same basic experimental conditions are selected for every group. So the cause in order to ex exclude the influence of lithology on the relative permeability curve, cause of three lithologies were selected for testing, including one dolomite, three limestone, and four sandstone cores. And uh, the experimental conditions were keep the same. The temperature, pressure, salinity of uh, saturation water, density of uh, formation water, viscosity of water and oil, and, and uh, all we, and uh, some other displacement constraints. Well, For the purpose of eliminating the influence of experimental procedures, two measurements approach were designed. One is to perform the unsteady state measurements firstly and then the steady state measurements. And the other is to adopt the steady state measurements followed by unsteady state measurements. Then they 
Let us see the results and uh, talk about some discussions. Uh, the eight uh, core simple, the results was listed as uh, in, in this table. So we, we see, let us see the result. Firstly, difference character really restricts between steady state and unsteady state relative probability curve for the same curve. This is uh, the steady state relative probability, and uh, this is the uh, unsteady state relative probability curve for the same curve. So it's quite different for each other. And uh, the irreducible water saturation remain unchanged. No obviously change of pore structure occurred after one displacement process. But the residual saturation obtained by unsteady state is 23% uh, uh, higher than that obtained by the steady state measurements. The water phase relative permeability and the residual oil saturation by unsteady state measurement is 3.4 times greater than, the, than that of obtained by steady state measurement. The oil phase index is tested by the unsteady state uh, method is, uh, is uh, nearly 50 percent higher higher than those obtained by the steady state method and as uh, for the water phase index obtained by the unsteady state measurements they are 72 percent lower than those of steady obtained by steady state measurements so uh, for the same for the same curve, uh, the different result was obtained, and the different results will lead to different uh, production file for the cut, dimensionless liquid and oil production index, and uh, residue recovery factor. So it's very important to talk about the different cause. And uh, we must recommend which one we should use, choose to use. Let's talk about the difference cause analyze at the first. The fundamental experimental conditions, we use the same core, the same fluid, and uh, keep the same fundamental experimental condition. For, for uh, about the experimental process, six experimental groups are subject to steady state followed by unsteady state. The other two groups are unsteady state followed by steady state. So it's not a so the experimental process is not main cause. Oil extraction process. No oil extraction operation are conducted for seven experiment gr groups, but one call was selected to fulfill the test procedure of unsteady state measurements, oil washing, and steady state measurements. So the oil extraction process was eliminated from the, the main causes. And uh, we also talk, use different uh, lithology and the core types. Core types the, the four artificial cores and the four natural cores are selected. So, what is the mean cause for the difference? We 
uh, conclude the three uh, main cause. Is the first one is uh, the displacement pressure and the capillary pressure. It takes a rather long time to raise a steady state so that capillary pressure effects should be fully played for steady state methods. And a high displacement pressure is required with the goal of elevating and the influence of the capillary pressure for unsteady state method. Consequently, capillary pressure hysteresis take place so that the capillary pressure effects are weakened. And such circumstances, water phase relative probability curves may move up. And the second uh, uh, cause is about uh, different uh, uh, theories. As we all know, uh, for the unsteady state uh, relative probability, it's uh, calculated based on the big elevator front advanced theory. But for the steady state uh, methods, it depends on the one dimensional Darcy Sipich theory. So clearly, uh, about two methods are dependent on different theories, while saturation as the outlet is, uh, is used by the unsteady state method and uh, the steady state method is used utilized to calculate it, use the average water saturation. And the other uh, aspect, aspect is about the filtration resistance. Uh, it is uh, higher in a steady state method, which can could be cal calculated by this equation. The third uh, co cause is about the viscous finger difference. With regards to the unsteady state method, it has a certain requirements for velocity with the goal of eliminating the effects. So it is much likely for greater velocity to cause the viscosity instability, further leading to viscosity finger. The, the above mentioned three causes lead, lead to the difference between steady state and unsteady state relative probability curves. So, uh, let's uh, we talk about the application range of which kind of relative probability curve should we choose? Steady state or unsteady state? While unsteady state relative probability is suitable for water displacing oil in the drainage area near the borehole. But for the cool fluid zones in the drainage area distant from the borehole, the steady state relative probability should be used. And uh, the boundary between the two kinds of methods it could be estimated by this number. Take an example for one Darcy probability and the pressure gradient less than uh, 559, uh, we can see the, uh, the boundary is uh, 40 meters near the borehole. And uh, for it, for the drainage area, far, far than 40 meters, it should be the use 
the steady state relative permeability. For low permeability cause imbalance between displacement force and capillary pressure is more obviously. So the steady state method should be choose. During dynamic simulation design, the unsteady state method is fit for in cell flow equations for the well. However, as for water displaced oil based on the in cell flow equation, steady state relative probability curves as are more uh, proper rate. So it's about the conclusions. In condition of the same core, the same fluid, and the same fundamental experiment conditions, unsteady state relative probability is significantly different from steady state relative probability. The irreducible water saturation remains unchanged, but the residual oil saturation, water phase relative permeability, and the residual oil saturation, and the oil and the water phase index are quite different. Secondly, it is proven that experimental processes, oil washing or not, lithology core types and unsteady state measurements and uh, constant pressure or constant velocity have no influence, influence on experimental result. The major reason leads to the difference between steady state and unsteady state relative permeability curves is uh, the drying force and the cabinet pressure during uh, measurements. Additionally, there are also another two causes. One is the diverse values of uh, filtration resistance, and the other is uh, uh, various degrees of uh, viscosity fingering. The last, respectively, unsteady state relative probability curve are suitable for water displacing oil in zones near the borehole, which could be estimated by P R number. P2 number. Steady state relative probability curve can be portrayed to illustrated oil water cool flow zones far from the borehole. The actual application boundary could be estimated. So, acknowledgement. This uh, paper was uh, uh, complicated uh, by, uh, by some, by the co-authors, Jinqing Zhang, uh, Sun Lei, Guo Sheng, Chen Han, Qiu Lin. This study was supported by National Science and Technology Merger Project and uh, the Innovation Fund of Snork China National Flow Oil Corporation. And, uh, thank you for your attention. If you have any question, you could send an email to me and uh, I'm very glad to communicate with you. That's all, thank you.